At IBM Security Command, we know the importance of training for a cyber incident, which is why we offer a range of experiences that can help your organization better prepare and test your cyber resilience. Whether it's training and building awareness through cyber threat response, gaining new perspectives in the mind of a hacker, or hands-on technical experiences in cyber war games, there's something for all organizations. Is your team ready? Greetings. My name is Tone Johnson, Integration and Test Engineer, and with my teammate Hank Ariel, Senior Enterprise Network Architect, we're here to present to you in the mini demo series, Technologies in the Cyber Range. And our focus on this will be on cloud identity and the value of multi-factor authentication. Now, in today's busy, hectic, and often challenging times, the average employee will receive hundreds of emails in any given month that are from internal and often external entities. Now, this makes it very challenging for the average employee to keep up with who it was from, was it from a value or trusted source, and it makes them potential targets for spear phishing attacks. And IBM Cloud ID can help secure user productivity with single sign-on, multi-factor authentication to protect the web, cloud, mobile, VPN, and operating systems. Looking at the scenario with Cloud ID, a successful phishing attack and an employee who was sent an email to log into a website that was fake for which the attacker acquired the employee's username and password, and then this attacker proceeded to use this information to attempt to log into the real website which was prevented by Cloud ID enforcing multi-factor authentication, and furthermore logged the source IP address, geolocation, and time. Now, let's take a look at cloud identity in action and how two-factor authentication was used. So I want you to think of me right now as the attacker and I got the username and password and I'm gonna to try to log in to their VPN using Cisco and Connect. So we press connect. Now we're gonna to go to other sign-in options because I have the username and password. Okay, and now I, I can enter my username and password. And after that, that would be it. But the value of two-factor authentication is, and as you'll see in momentarily is, there's gonna be another layer here. Now the attacker has to deal with another layer of security. And that other layer of security, specifically dealing with two-factor authentication, we will have to, um, I would say, choose a method. And the three methods that we're dealing with here would be an authenticator app using TOTP, there's email, and there's a text message that would all send a one-time password to either your, your phone or your, your email device. Now, and there it is, now, the attacker can't get in, but if I was the user, because I have these secure things and I bring up my authenticator app, now I'm protected because I have this extra layer of security here and I can enter the one-time password that was that was sent to me and, and the pass would be 457507 and voila. Now I have access to my, my network and my resources where if the attacker just having the username and password, he, would, he wouldn't be able to get in because he wouldn't have the TOTP, he wouldn't have the email, and he wouldn't have access to get the one-time password. Now, I wanna pass it to my associate, Hank Ariel, for best practices and recommendations. Thanks for that demo, Tone. It's clear to see how effective enabling multi-factor authentication in cloud identity can be to mitigate the risk of compromise of a user's login credentials. As a network architect, I know how important it is to secure not only the perimeter of a corporate environment, but also internal segments and resources within a company's network. IBM recommends industry standard security practices, including network segmentation, a strong password policy, and multi-factor authentication wherever possible. This is defined by two or more different authentication methods, such as something you know, as in a password or PIN, something you have, as in a bank card or security token, or something you are, as in biometrics or behavior. One important thing to note here is that using two different passwords does not equate to multi-factor. 
The same techniques used to compromise one password can be used to compromise a second password as well. Having a second different factor effectively mitigates the risk of compromise. You demonstrated the use of an Authenticator app on your phone as the second factor, something you have. You'd certainly know if your phone were missing and would take action if that happened. Similarly, if you had biometrics enabled as the second factor, it would be a lot more difficult for an attacker somewhere on the internet to get your fingerprint or retina scan. From a security standpoint, having more than one authentication method enabled is crucial in today's world where everything is interconnected and users are accessing corporate resources from a variety of different, often remote methods. Using cloud identity with multi-factor authentication is an easy way to implement good security controls in a single, centrally managed application. Whether you are logging into a VPN, cloud-based application, web server, or HR database, cloud identity can be the one common factor in controlling access to all of these resources. This is the IBM Security Command Center. My name is Allison Ritter, and I'm the Command Center's Creative Director. We are an elite team that help prepare our clients to perform at their best, even on their worst possible day. Our Command Center is a state-of-the-art security operations center that uses the latest threat intelligence to simulate cyber attacks for clients based on their industry and needs. The simulation is an immersive experience that is built to test their response to a cyber incident. On the day of the experience, clients come in and are oriented to the Command Center. Almost immediately after, the simulated breach begins. Command Center. The goal is to understand how the entire organization works together and how to support the technical and business teams where time is not on your side. Over the course of the next few hours, clients will wrestle with the cyber crisis scenario designed to test them, train them, and unite them under the guidance of our best security specialists. Afterwards, we work together to provide a full assessment of the simulation so that clients can learn to build new strengths and an instinctive response that is immediate, thorough, and measured. Because in the world of cyber threats, you can't predict, but you can prepare.